Welcome to the channel and this new series where we'll be playing Imperium Galactic Survival version 1.5, which was released in June 2021, if you're watching this in the future. Now, I'm aware many people don't like long introductions, so there'll be a timestamp appearing now for anyone who wants to jump forward into the gameplay. For anyone of you who decided to remain, welcome. This introduction will consist of two parts. In the first part, I'm just going to talk about what the this series is going to be about and the reason why I've restarted. And then in the second part, we'll just do the setup so that we can get into the gameplay. Now, if any of you follow the channel, you'll be aware that I've been playing a Dread series in Project Eden for some time now. And my original plan was to keep playing this until project eden became available for the 1.5 update which is technically it already is but raven dropped a little bit of a bombshell when he said that he's also working on an update for project eden which will be available in july now that kind of gave me a bit of a dilemma because when the 1.5 update dropped into the stable branch my, my original intention was to carry on playing the dread series until such time as raven drops the the update for project eden and then i started thinking well there's there are some new missions and features within the the, the standard 1.5 game and i think it'd be quite interesting to be able to do a comparison between the vanilla game and project eden when the new update comes out and then i started thinking about well it's a long time since i have i've actually played the base game and I was wondering what the the experience would be for a new player. So that's what one of the objectives of this series is going to be. We're just going to play the base game with a relatively easy start, just from a new player's perspective. I think it's also going to be quite interesting just to take a look at the new missions, which is a key part of the 1.5 update, just to get a feel for how those missions work so that when the update for Project Eden drops, we'll be able to have a bit of a comparison there. So I think that's probably enough of the introduction. I don't want this to be too long, so we're just going to come in a single player. Of course, we're just going to play survival mode. Now, I don't really want to do anything particularly difficult because I'd like to get a fair amount of pace on this. So what we're going to do here is, I'll just call it first look. Well, maybe 1.5, like that. The seed, uh, it's always six digits. Okay, let's just go with that. <laughs> difficulty settings, you can see I've already been looking at the difficulty settings in preparation for this series. I think I'm going to stick with the medium start equipment because I'm going to be quite interested to see what you actually get when you start now. It's probably worth mentioning that I haven't actually done a start yet, but of course I've read the patch notes and I know that there are certain differences when we actually get into the game. And keep the inventory on death. No, no, we'll leave it the way it is. Actually, no, this is... A bit of fun actually we'll just put the toolbar items on only on because i've never done that i've always played with uh, in the standard mode fuel consumption normal um deposits normal true i don't really play with auto miners so we'll just leave that the depletion on true you can see i've gone for enemy difficulty hard overall drone presence high drone attack there constructor speed normal and of course we switched on mass and cpu because i wouldn't even want to play the game without that now i think that is about it so let's just get straight in not well, back to here anyway i think we'll stay with a medium planet size uh, i was half expecting that to be a, co a cure actually let's have a look here at the starting locations yeah i don't really fancy parched planets swamp planet yeah <laughs> uh, i think the progress would be too slow with the swamp planet and uh, the coal planet now again it's the problem is is it's just going to take too long to make progress so we're just going to stay with the standard uh, start location the temperate easy gravity normal temperature range atmosphere 1.3 elk breathable yes and it's iron copper silicon promethean gold nothing it's interesting that gold now is on the starter planet and I, i'm not going to read all that and i think that's about it so let's just get started Oh, this is interesting. We've actually got some nice loading screens now. Other vehicles can haul tons of materials, be armored to the teeth, and make perfect tanks. You can also respawn there by adding a clone chamber. Now, of course, the drop pod now, you can't steer it, so you just gotta kind of just crash straight into the ground. It looks like there's some wreckage over there. 
Wow. <laughs> now we're going to stick with the mission and I'm going to do it like a new player. So emergency situation detected protocol UCH001A has been initialized. Proceed. Ship status destroyed due to malfunction in the engine system. Current situation crashed on unknown planet. Pilot state status successfully. Pilot health low but stable. Integrated uh, assistant rebooting. Emergency life support activated. Proceed. Injury to tell. Oh, thank you, game. Yeah. It says tab. Injury detected. Broken leg. Reduce walking speed. Permanent stamina drain. Requires medical treatment. Bandages. Activate survival construct on the top right. I was showing the available recipes. Yep. Uh, resources required in inventory fiber not available. Device collecting is a survival tool not available. Searching tools. Okay. Proceed. Of course, this is one of the changes now. Is there anything else around here? We can't access survival tool three basic, basic modes. Defense research. Yes, I know that. Thank you, game. We're going to find some. Oh, some what we call it's there get here we'll pick up some plant pro there's loads of plant protein here uh, i'm gonna snag some of this there's only fiber plants the alternative is we'll just have to cut a tree down let me just see just grab some of this some iron there bit defense bone oh we can't cut trees down is it this mode now? Oh, it's actually this mode now. Okay. And we can actually cut trees down with the, the proper mode now. Let's open tab. Make a bandage. Yes. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, made a... Right on there. There's open the status overview panel tab. Okay. <sighs> And we've now got healed up. And I'm just going to knock out some data assistant restarted. Welcome back, Commander. Glad to see you alive. <laughs> Incredible luck that being dragged into the Titan's warp vortex is coming out alive in one piece. It'll take a few minutes. In the meantime, we've been storing up our sensor logs in from the escape from the Apollona station. And there, open the PDA. So we just go there. Personal data keeps track of available missions. Yes. So, yeah, so what missions have we got now? So this is what we're doing at the moment. We're doing the Robinson Protocol, which is nice. Glad to see it's still here. Um, we'll just close that off. Uh, Commander, the night is coming. You also need to have something to eat and analyze nearby plants. Uh, collect some plant protein and build an energy bar. <laughs> I've already built one, thank you. Okay, we'll just one, two, three, four and this we're going to have to put, put one there and we'll just see an energy bar I wouldn't mind some more plant fiber to get some okay, level 2 unlocked let's, let's have a look at the map well, wow we're right on the edge of Talon territory that could be annoying um, we got now commander your efforts to re-establish communication the fleet has failed but i'm tracking a weak signal beacon nearby first build a detector can build one of these we'll just pop a another one there you can see what you don't get from here is you don't get uh much help from these anymore but you don't get any well wow. and we've built uh just let the detector get built Yeah, I definitely need some bandages. Okay, drop this in the survival tool. Three. Right, we discover some wreckage. We've got lots of resources around. Well, at least, well, at least they're not in the uh, inside of the Talon territory because we don't want to upset them too much. So we we've got a damage station over there, but let's just have a look around and see what we've got. Uh, I mean, let's just go over this way. Since we've got some resources here, some iron there, we're certainly going to grab that.
Of oh, course. Cool. The iron gets picked up now. Right, there's a. Let's throw out the scan. Let me grab some more iron. So I'm pretty sure we're going to have to make a survival constructor, so we might as well get that done. Some copper there as well, that would be good. Of course, we've got to be a bit careful because we're going to run out of... Uh... Yeah, I'm sure there was something over this way. Where is it? Right, there's something in that direction. There's 285, but there's a red thing in there as well. Um, maybe I shouldn't get too close to that. Certainly want the copper. I think whatever the question mark is, is closer than the red one. The red one is probably a spider nest. Well, yeah, whatever's here is 200 meters away. We'll be okay. Let me just uh, make another bandage. Certainly need more plant fiber. But we'll go and see what we can find over here. There's certainly a lot of more resources scattered around than there used to be. Normally you have to, used to have to walk miles just to find things. Right, we found some large wreckage. This could be a pretty good operational base, actually. The only problem is, I'll prob if I go into here, we'll probably go off the, uh, ch the tutorial. But I think it's going to be worth... And in here we've got see what we've got here got a motorbike would we'll certainly take that we've got some other stuff but 144 that's a bit too much so i think we're going to leave that behind for the moment we'll just take the motorbike and the motorbike will let us get around a little bit more i suppose what we better do is just go in the direction of the uh, what we call it let's go in the direction of the damage comm section and see some our first creatures there they're harmless okay well if you're going to get in the work my way uh we'll just grab you Jump back on the bike. Right, we discover some wreckage. There's a lot of stuff around here. Some more copper as well. We're certainly going to take that. Use the console. Find and access the console. Yes, thank you, game. Uh, certainly pick up the motorbike and we'll just go in and look inside press to failure to reboot console and error 101 power save mode activate error 108 internal files damaged connect to IDA console running systems diagnostics completed the internal storage is still available. I found a few indi indicate indices of data back to a running system diagnostics completed. The internal storage was still available, and I found a few indices that, that date back nearly a year. I'm unable to, I'm not able to download their content as long as the console power is safe mode. You need to rebuild some devices before we start working on the station. You should set up, set up camp, collect some fiber, and craft a survival tool. Tent, I think that was, was it? Yeah, got a current. So let's just have a little bit of. Yeah, oh no, there's only those guys. Okay. Uh, just. I think it's the small trees here that will give us plant fiber. So as we go for a, a big tree, we'll get logs. 
we got a few we're just gonna make a survival tent uh just drop that there just gonna leave the energy bars in here because if you leave the energy bars in here they don't go off or they never used to it's probably the correct term um, what we got over there have a look right we got wreckage certainly give that the once over oh we got the okie for no keys hello guys um I really want to dig these out. I don't know how aggressive these guys are now. Wait, you're meant to be you're meant to be able to dig this out. Okay, we're just going to pull back. <laughs> we're just going to stick with the mission. Grab some more plant protein. And of course, we better put the tent on our toolbar. Kind of <sighs> would like to make uh, another three bandages. Are there any? Yeah. There's that plant protein. And we need more plant protein. <laughs> so uh, grab some more plant protein as well, just to keep. Okay, I think we we'll just deploy the tent here just to keep the game happy. To power up the station, you need to craft the portable constructor. First, open the Tech Tree F3. Uh, go to the miscellaneous tab, scroll down. Yes, thank you. And that's it. Portable constructor there, level one. Um, I, I kind of like the portable heater cooler as well. Although I'm probably doing that. Okay, wait, craft and explore. We need to do that. We're we'll certainly make the portable constructor. We'll just drop you on there. We'll keep the bandage just for the moment. We'll put a little bit more food. Just keep everything going well. Well, that is working. Not really seeing plant fiber. It used to be everywhere. Let's see what we can get in amongst the trees here. I certainly don't want to set a permanent base up here. Oops, not salvage mode. Got no silicon at the moment. I'm not actually seeing much in the way of rock. Because what we may have to do is manufacture the silicon from rock. Because I haven't actually seen any silicon at all at the moment. Uh, we've got that there. No, nope. got a little bit more plant protein here. We'll just keep snagging that. Anything else around here that could be worth picking up? A little bit worried about that temperature gauge as well. That's one of the reasons. Okay, the portable constructor, move it to a free slot on your toolbar. Yep. Place the constructor that will just drop the constructor down as well. Um, this is where it tells me that I've. <laughs> okay, here. This is probably craft a better weapon. Okay, open F3. Pistol. Uh, sorry, game. Uh, I'd like a shotgun. Is the new access to portable construct craft a pistol and pistol range? You need five iron, five copper, and fiber. Oh, we can put the thank you game. Yes. Can we make a pistol. Projectile pistol. It's a bit strange. The projectile pistol. And we're let's make two two sets of that. She can be about fifty rounds. Although to be honest, I'd rather I prefer the shotgun game. 
anything else around here while the pistol's being made. I think we've kind of cleared out this area at the moment. Can I make the and all? Let me just get into here and just snick out a little bit of iron ore and I just really want to make the heater I'm a bit twitchy with respect to that take a couple more energy bars we're just going to make some ammunition just wait for that Anything else around here at the moment? Oh. You now have a basic construction to allow you to craft the, all the devices necessary for rebuilding and powering the, the comm station as well as the base weapons to defend yourself. But for activating the station, you need to craft the following a small generator, a fuel tank, and a core. Oh, so what the. Wait, what happened there? So what we're, we're actually claiming this base that's different go large wreckage go to the wreckage yes i know i've got the wreckage so is that actually that's tag this is the large wreckage that i've got okay <laughs> what we'll do is we'll just pick up our stuff here um, let me just see. Yeah. Up there. Now the question is, can I carry everything that I've got here? I certainly move the light. Just all information there. Right, we'll take everything there. Get that, and we're we'll jump on the bike. Um, just keep an eye out for plant fiber. I'm not too worried about too much worried about the not plant fiber. Um, let me see how much space have we got left. Oh, we got we got space at the moment because I haven't got the bike on. That's what makes the difference. Oops, I don't want that. Well, I certainly gave us some more resources on the way through, and um, we're certainly going to get some more plant fiber. That's in the offing. Well, there's certainly some. Let's grab this, grab this. There's certainly a lot of plant protein around here as well. We'll take that. Have to admit, in the early game, I like to stack, stock up on energy bars so uh, grab as much as this as we can and of course it's all xp oh so that the xp actually turn is now appears in the top left hand corner i was about to say it should where, why am i not seeing the xp but <laughs> kind of part of me let's grab this from crush stone we've got 50 xp uh, xp for Grabbing some crushed stone. Let's get into here. Right, we've now got a portable heater. I certainly would like uh, a couple more bandages. And then we'll punch out maybe about another four energy bars. Let's grab the bandages. And we'll just head off for the large wreckage. Check if there's anything of interest in the containers. Yes, I know there's things of interest in the containers because we've already been here. Oops. Uh -huh. Everything except the... Use the arrow key yep, to select. We'll pop. 
We now have both the materials to craft the devices we need to power the comm station. We were lacking a few steel plates. Use the survival tool to remove uh, to retrieve some steel plates by shooting on the blocks. Yes. What we'll do is we'll just deploy the. Yeah. We'll just access put some of this stuff in here. At the moment. Put that in there. And we'll just go and get the computers. Actually, let me just hook out some of that. We'll put the computers in there. It's going to make a, where's the survival? What we call it. I'm just going to make a second portable constructor. Um, maybe a couple more energy bars. And we'll just eat one of those just to keep going. And then we we'll, uh, <laughs> let me just see. Just tidy the base up a little bit. Salvage mode. Salvage 41 steel plates. Well, okay, well I'm sure we can do that. This is obviously going to take a little while. What I need to do is hit the, the bigger plates here. Maybe we can... This combat steel. I don't really want to pick up the combat steel just at the moment. Because... We undermine we'll be able to cheat a little bit like that <laughs> we can do it over here wait okay game I'll take the combat steel oh we only got the one okay we'll just keep picking up the trusses quite an impressive tutorial that says that what you've got to do is destroy your own base quite like the idea of that alien honey or nat natural sweetener I know I'm still calling it alien honey um, and when it since it's stopped being called that a very long time ago but to use the natural sweetener to actually improve our health, we're going to have to find some, uh, what we call it, some plants for that will cure indigestion. Because eating raw food gives you indigestion, which can prove fatal. But we'll certainly grab this because that will give us a little bit more XP. Okay, we've got, need another seven plates. Keep hacking away this I'll oh, just actually let's go over there and let's go some got if I take out this one here it might collapse no okay I'll take this one out it should make it collapse then here we are one more Okay, you found a motorbike in the wreckage. Move the bike to a free slot in the toolbar and place it on the ground. Well, I suppose we better pick it up and put it out again. <laughs> right back to the damaged comm station. Yes, I know, but the question is, how much can we pick up? Let me just have a quick here. We've got a second portable constructor. What? How much can we pick up from here? We'll take the better quality stuff to start with. We'll leave the money behind. We need the mechanical components, the copper, and we've kind of filled up everything now. Uh, got a little bit of copper, a little bit of. Uh, probably don't need 20, 20 of those. We we'll probably need the computer. Okay, let me just. What can I take out? We certainly don't want the safe in plates, they'd be quite heavy. Nope, still don't want it. Okay. Take out the ore. We can start turning these into bars now. It's I've probably got too much junk along the bottom here now. It's we've got the portable constructor lot. We need to take the portable constructor with us. 
So it looks very much like I may need to make two trips. <laughs> so in the spirit of the tutorial, we're just keep going. So we're just going to go back to the damaged comm station. Keep an eye out for whatever anything that's around, although we can't pick anything else up at the moment. Hello, guys. To capture a station in order to make other devices like generators, turrets, and doors, you need to place a core. Use the portable constructor to craft the core. Yes, thank you. And what we'll do is we'll just deploy the portable constructor. We'll just drop everything in here. Put the plant fiber in. Can we make a core? Yeah, I presume it's a base core. Oh, we don't need a base starter kit. We actually need a core, don't we? Okay. I'm with it. <laughs> Question is, do I want to... I think for the moment we'll stick with the tutorial and see where that actually takes us. Let me just... A bit of a load. Must admit, I wouldn't really like a shotgun. I I think we're going to make a shotgun. Uh, we've got a core. Place the core onto the base of the outline becomes blue. Can we make a shotty? Yes, we can. And we can make the... I'm just going to make a shotgun. We don't... We, ha, we've only got enough to make 30 rounds of... Uh, Shotgun shells, so we'll take that. Put the core. Open the control panel P. Control panel offers several performance settings, important statistics closely. Open the tech tree F3. Go to the base tab and find a fuel tank T1 generator and unlock them. Okay, so we need. We need that, and we need the generator as well. Craft a small generator and a fuel tank in the devices in the affordable constructor. Station now belongs to you. You can part, um, point at any base block and open the control things. Yes, thank you, game. Right, we've now got a shotgun. Sorry, pistol, but shotguns are far more useful. And what we need, we probably haven't got them. We can make a tier one fuel tank. Okay, make that. But we, we need electronics for the um, generator. I don't think I brought the electronics with me, did I? So we're going to need to do that. We'll just get here. Uh, just take some more food. One, two, three, four, five. Getting a bit cold as well, which is uh... take that, take that, take that, take that. Leave the credits behind. Question is, do I want to build my base? If we're going to build a generator, we might as well set up home next to the whatever it is. So, uh, let's jump up back on the bike. Of course, we got a half turn around. Some veggies just there. Wouldn't mind snagging some of that. Oh, we're in. <laughs> Get out. Don't want to upset the talon. There's a little bit of. Um, we're, wait, stop it. Just snag some bit more iron ore. What was that? Is that silicon? That's no, just plain old rock, actually. We might need the rock to make some silicon. So we'll grab that as well. We might as well try and get everything. Just 
what's that there? Some more rock, we'll grab some more of that. There's a little crop of uh, plant protein. That's just some plant fiber here as well. Oh, look at that. That's good. We've got some herbal leaves. Now, herbal leaves, pure indigestion. So what we can do is pop the natural sweetener. And that will give us some health. Before it spoils. Where's the bike? There's the bike. Hello, guys. Good to see you. Um, um, I don't mean you any harm. We're not going to kill you. We're not in the set up really at the moment for cooking. We're just quite happy living on energy bars. We are hardy spacemen. Yeah, I mean, these plants are regrowing very quickly, which is great. <laughs> Um, where's my bike gone? I've lost my bike. What's the bike? Oh, there it is over there. Let me just jump on the bike. Well, we got the damage compensating center. There's the escape pod. Where is, oh, there's the damage comm center. So we're just heading that direction. Oops. Well, the temperature's dropping a little bit, but we're not too bad. Okay, let me just put this in here, here, here. Keep unloading everything nicely. But just keep that. Got some more there. One, two. Oops, I um, don't want that many. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Mr. Spider-Man. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. You are not welcome. Go away. We'll just clear out the local hostiles. Wait. <laughs> it's getting a little bit cold, so uh, let's deploy the heat machine. So, you there. I'll put you we'll get this going as a, a kind of a food place here we'll get make a couple of steaks get things going and then what does it say we're going to make a small generator <laughs> let's make that probably could do with some more ammunition as well if i could just knock out another 30 rounds of that it says we've got to deploy well work was was game was just stick with the mission back to here what we will do is put the I put the pistol pistols in here isn't it let's hook the pistol out here um maybe we'll keep the pistol as a backup at the moment so uh, just keep. I suppose we better keep the light. I suppose we better. We can put the tent out. We move the small generator to the free slot on your toolbar. Yes, thank you. So, uh, oops. Oh, oh. Okay. Didn't realise there was something in there. Wasn't aware that we could loot it. Actually, that's fine. I we'll take that. We'll put that in there. Place the fuel tank, place the generator, place the fuel tank. Where can we place it? I mean, it's all a little bit exposed. But I suppose we can... We hook that in. Kind of... <laughs> a little bit... Oh, well, we can put it there. That'd be pretty useful. I mean, it might give us a bit of radiation problems, though. Maybe we'll just put you... Just have a bit of a rotate. 
Got a bit of an odd place to put it. And but uh, never mind. We've got a fuel tank. Access them. And conventional generators require fuel tanks filled with biofuel with large and smaller energy cells. We're gonna make biofuel. We're gonna need plant fiber. <laughs> it teach me, won't it? Um, let me just get in here. Uh, just go out. I mean, we can just go for the logs now, actually, come to think of it. So I'd like to kind of give myself a little bit of operational space here. Let's just take the bike with me as well. Also take the heat to plant with me, just in case we get a bit cold. Um, we've, got, ah, we've got the light, but when we can find things, but at the same time, we, once we do this, we'll knock down some logs. Yeah, we've got seven logs. Another one we'll do some plant fiber here. We knock down some of these, take some of these trees down as well. Just take this down here. A little bit of oh, what we got here. We got some iron here. I think this is a natural stimulant. Okay, I can hear the local Oki for Nokis around. Discovered a new resource. We found some iron. Okay, we're good. It's quite strange not to see the one of large amounts of plant fiber around. I'm a bit worried about whether if we power this base up, we're going to get attacked. But I suppose that is the name of the game. So we'll just drop that in there. Put the natural stimulant in it. Will probably spoil because, well, it is. How much time we got left on this? Perish time 10, perish time 22. Right, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know how much of this we're going to need to power the base up with. There is the heat. the heater back? Keep us warm while we're waiting. Let's have a look round. We can just use the. I mean, to be honest, I like wouldn't mind scrapping out some of this stuff, but. I suppose that's the storage vault we were able to pick up. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. We'll just wait. Have we made some biofuel yet? Nope. We're just, we're just working its way through. Let me just see. Let's just. I mean, we got. Just, just knock out a couple of the magic bars. And then we can make a couple more. Better in than out, as they say. Um, okay, we've got one of these. Oh, well, I can just go there. I, I mean, to be honest, I don't think one is going to last that long, but we're... Find the fuel tank in the main tab. Yes, thank you. There's fuel. I can drop there. Yes, thank you. <laughs> What's that? Open the control panel. Now power the base on. Probably I've powered the base up, but obviously it probably haven't got enough fuel. Power cults are loading operating. Please do not shut down while in progress. Loading last message. The message is fragmented. Display contents anyway. August 2nd, we lost, we survived, we made contact with the Talon nearby village. The Xerax are on our hills. We need to avoid running into, uh, into drones until they lose interest. A temporary camp near... A temporary camp near, I'm afraid, some of the, our vessels were shot down and crashed not far away. We plan to, if this plan fails, I advise every other survivor to go find one of the Talon villages. These guys help us survive and may also help us as well. End of message. I'm afraid that is all there is. All the logs are either destroyed or heavily fragmented. I wonder there might be something wrong even with this log. The timestamp on the, of the message is tomorrow. At the same time, the log file indicates that it was created one year ago. So we've got a bit of a temporal problem going there. Logs clearly made up from, by someone from the UCH with personal ID, something. I have validated the ID without access. Establish, we're quite sure. Okay. 
I assume that the Xerox might have something to do with it, but it is a, was a fight and technical trouble cannot be seen. Okay, moved, escape, and, and about the timestamp. Just kind of whip through this a bit quicker. Not fully enclosed by the Titan's warp vortex, gravitational instability is the main reason. I mean, I mean, nice if the Heidelberg is still in the game. Okay, we need to find the small settlement of the Talon. The message indicates these people might know more about what happened to the survivors that left this message. I will set a marker on your HUD before we leave. I strongly suggest you unlock an assault rifle or shotgun from the tech tree and craft them in the portable constructor. Yes. <laughs> updating missions and what we got to do now is go look for the talon but that will be the subject of the next video i think we've done more than enough in this video we've got off we got off to a good start we've got lots of things to discover we've opened up a fair amount of the planet we've got large wreckage we've got to make our way over to the small settlement here but what i most likely would like to do is go around first and check out all this wreckage because this looks very much like it's going to be our operational base. And of course, if this is going to be our operational base, we're going to need to, uh, how can you say, build some defences around it. Although, to be honest, I'm not particularly that interested in defending it. But this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. I say in the next part, we will just keep following the mission, which is going to be the focus of this series, just to see how well the mission builds up. So until next time, whatever you do, Enjoy your gaming.